If you want to be fast on the racetrack, obviously you can't be afraid of the throttle, but you've got to know how to use the brake. Well, Car Advice is here to help. Welcome to another episode of Racing Basics. Last time on Racing Basics, with the help of Australian rally icon Chris Atkinson and the new 150 kilowatt Hyundai Elantra SR Turbo, we showed you how to steer correctly when on track and how not to. This time, we're looking at braking. Chris, last time we looked at steering, this time we're looking at braking. How do people get braking wrong? Don't you just jump on the brakes as hard as you can when you want the car to stop? That's maybe why you're so slow, Dave. <laughs> Good, okay. So that's the wrong way to do it. What you're doing there is shocking the car. All the weight goes over the nose. It's happening too aggressively and you're not slowing the car down actually that well. You risk locking brakes, the car's unstable, and when you get to the corner, you're not in control. So I'll show you how the wrong way to do it is. Okay, let's have a look. All right, Dave, here we go. We're gonna jump on the brakes as hard as we can down the hill here. And you can feel the car diving around all over the road. Got through the corner in the end, but it was just, just moving everywhere, so it was really difficult to control. Now we've seen how I do it, what's the correct way to do it? Basically what you want to do is just touch the brake initially, and it's only for a fraction of a second to settle the car. And once you've done that, you can actually put more pressure than if you went initially too hard like I showed you. So when you calm the car down, put the weight on the road, all the suspension comes down, the tyre compresses a little bit, and that absorption of the road means the car's settled. Push the brake hard then, the car will stay flat and calm and you're ready for the corner. Okay, well let's have a look. Alright Dave, let's try the nice progressive way. Push it gently first, then push harder. Then as I release the pedal, I try and be smooth and control as well. You can feel it straight away, even from the passenger side. With Chris's two runs overlaid, we can clearly see that doing things the right way is not only better, it's also faster. Now that we've looked at steering and braking, I'm starting to understand why you pushed me and what you meant about forces with the car. Yeah, Dave, it's only a small difference to how you drive the car, but putting that energy into the road the right way through the tyres and the chassis makes a huge difference to your lap time. I can see. Remember, if you want to check out more racing basics, head to caradvice.com. <laughs>